I want to do a product review on this, uh, like this product here that I just picked up, which uh, is one of these acrylic, uh, like markers or pens, which have become like super popular right now. There's a few different brands have, have just recently come out with the new lines of these things. Um, I believe uh, AK just has a set out right now, and I've looked at some of them and really the original the OG the Posca pens are still the like the standard there you really can't beat them like this is a Posca pen here uh, I'm sure people will be familiar with these because uh, they were around for a while and then when people realized you could use them for models like they uh, have they just like everybody knows them now anyways and the problem that they had they always had and they still have is they've never done really like military colors you can get like your blacks and whites and your your basic colors they have quite a few um but then they have also like uh large tip like like super large tip to really really super fine tip and uh like so they're a really great product but they really aren't necessarily modeling uh, markers because they don't have like the military colors and uh, like our, our detail colors that we're used to in our paint lineups so that's kind of where they um, fell short there and then some of these other companies like AKA now have picked up and they, uh, they have started to do military colors but from what I've seen that I haven't really been too impressed with their stuff now I haven't used it so I can't really say too much about it other than I'm I'm not really convinced of them yet and so I was just looking around on AliExpress um, for their uh, Posca lineup and they have various other like cheap little um, knockoff brands and, and different brands of uh, everything from like uh, your oil based markers to acrylics. And I came across this set here and this thing I believe retails for under $10. I'm not positive if it was maybe 11 or 12 dollars at the most but i believe it was under 10 dollars and it's actually a uh, skin tone the it's in uh like water based here like acrylic product but it's for skin tones and when i seen how many you get in here i had to try this thing out and we'll have a look at it here which uh it goes under the name fly c now as far as um finding this on AliExpress you probably type in uh, skin tone acrylic painter I don't know if fly C will actually come up it should be not too hard to find on there but we can see here it's uh, water based says marks on anything can be used on skin I mean I wouldn't recommend putting it on your skin but I guess you can put it on your skin and it's uh, actually 12 markers we get in here and then it gives us like uh, directions on how to use them. It's your typical, just like your Posca pens, no different. You just get it, you shake it, and then uh, you push the tip down to basically uh, flood the like felt part, and then you can use it. I'm not going to go over on a tutorial how to actually use these, uh, um, like actually use these markers. It's just I want to kind of review this one. And we'll have a look at what you get in here. And when I got these, I was actually more impressed than when I ordered them. Because I didn't realize how many various different shades that actually were in here. Um, the, the ad they had didn't do them justice. But they've got like every single shade that you can imagine here. Which is very brilliant. One of the things in modeling I've, I've looked for is I've never seen a real set of skin colors like sometimes you'll get uh, uh, like I can't remember the names of the companies but sometimes you'll get like a set of say six or m maybe eight something like that but there isn't like a whole variety of them there's even uh, the best one I found was uh, I'm not sure if it's an Abtilung product but they do an oil based set and it's got just about all your skin colors in there and I'm not an oil based uh, painter so I, I know I, I think a lot of guys who do uh, figures are but myself I'm not I wanted acrylics and this set seems to have everything in here and I haven't like opened this or tested it out yet so however this turns out it's uh, 
like it's going to be live on camera so anyways uh so this is our various colors here you can even see it's sort of like i mean this color here is sort of close to my skin color i mean maybe this would be this one here would be probably just about perfect the uh the color and i'm gonna get a couple of these out and you can see how nicely packaged they are each one is individually done here so maybe what i'll do is uh i'll get a couple out i'll get like one of this is like one of the darker tones this should uh, show up pretty good and uh, I will get the packaging off of it which you just have to get in here and get a like get an edge on it and then hopefully we can we can unpackage it won't take too long here all right so we'll get rid of that so here's our nice little marker here uh, one nice thing actually uh, which the Posca's would uh, probably benefit from as you can see they're actually clear so you can see how much paint you actually have in there that's actually a really nice uh, really nice touch that they've done that and then here's their marks on anything strong uh, our, the pigment there strong covering force sunproof waterproof and these ones are a 0.7 tip which is pretty small uh, you can see it says extra fine. I'm not sure if there's a 0.5. I don't think there is a 0.5. I think 0.7 is about the smallest. So we'll open it up here. Oh, maybe there is a 0.5 because I think there is a smaller one. But you see here we have our felt, uh, or the way the tips are on these things. And we want to do uh, what they said. They said shake it up. So we'll give it a little shake here. Shouldn't You shouldn't have to do too much. Like with the Poscas and that, you don't really have to. And then uh, it says to compress the tip. Like this is, uh, uh, it's a project I'm working on right now, but it's like a light gray color. It almost looks like a light blue, but it's like a light gray color. And I'm just going to do it on the underside of it. So we want to um, push down on it, see if we can get the, uh, like the felt there to flood. Yeah, you can see the color starting to come through now. It might take a while to do it. And again, these are a little bit cheaper product. Like the Posca pens are usually about $4 a piece, something like that. So, Okay, so now we have our tip. You'll see once they... Um, uh, once they're ready to go, they will flood out like that. You'll see the color on there and they're uh, good to go so we'll just um, like I'll just do this and actually yeah it does actually look really good you can see uh, I'm not sure how well it's going to show up but you can see the coverage on there I'm assuming this will dry flat I'm not sure if it'll dry flat in the time we have here but you can see the coverage of it is actually quite excellent on the tip here looks like a nice tip I don't think you're going to destroy it or anything so it looks all right and that's uh I picked one of the like darker shades I want to go into one of the lighter shades because uh, of course like if you were doing um, a figure kit or something you can always prime it to make it look better but I want to get one of these lighter ones but something that will still show up um, maybe I'll try this one here this uh, yellowish one see how it uh, see how it turns out and uh, we'll get our uh, plastic off here again like this isn't too fun the way they they wrapped it on here pretty good which I mean it's a good sign but you gotta get the get an edge there and get these uh, get that out of the way put that actually I'll set the product there so you can see it and um, so we'll do the same thing we'll shake it up shook it up quite a bit um, Again, it shouldn't have to be, uh, you don't have to shake it like crazy, but the the more you shake it, it's, uh, it's just waking up the paint, so. 
Okay, so that should be good to go. And then we will push the tip down. And you don't want to push hard on these tips and, and like crush them and, and like bash them around. You want it, it like it's just to get the uh, the paint flowing. Especially the first time you do it, like you might have to do it uh, like this when we're just waiting to get the paint to go through it. I can see it starting to come already. Um, so the first time you do it, fine, but uh, you really don't have to keep pushing down the tip a whole lot as you start using these. They usually flow pretty good just from, like, just the uh, the way you hold them, like gravity, I guess I'd say. So I'll try and get this one to go. Okay, so there's our paint starting to come there. So hopefully uh, it will flow and we can get another. Like yeah, this one's drying here. You can see it dries to a uh, like a flat color. But the coverage on it actually looks quite excellent. And again, from this is not on a prime surface. This is directly onto a. This is directly onto a plastic. Because I assume it would be, be uh, better on a primed surface. And like with something like this, I would probably try and maybe flood out the area a little bit better. Because yeah, the the lighter the color, the uh, you can see the, uh, you'll have to do a couple coats of it. The Posca stuff seems to be just perfect and, uh, but yeah, it looks all right. I mean, it's, I would say it's as good as anything. And I'm really happy with the dark color coverage. Like the, uh, this color here for the, uh, the lighter color for the skin, um, yeah, and it might be better on a prime surface, but I think it's perfectly adequate. It looks all right. So I would say this is uh, definitely a recommended product. And if you're doing little tiny uh, figures like uh, one seventy second scale, even uh, this is like uh, well, you can see the tip for say a one seventy second scale doing out. Uh, hands and, and faces and things I think the tip there is about perfect for that in 135th scale you uh, can't really go wrong I mean for the price that these things the uh, price these things go for you can see yourself you can see how uh, the darker it is the better coverage you're going to get and then the uh, the lighter colors they might need a couple of uh, coats but yeah it looks like an excellent product and for the price this was and the what you're getting in here the different tones and variations I would say this is a highly recommended product and I bought mine from AliExpress uh, again I don't have a link or anything like that um, you'll have to just kind of uh, type in skin tone acrylic painter if you're interested in a set like this but it looks excellent and it does hold up the Pens look nice. I, I really like that they're a clear, so you can see how much paint you actually have left, um, so you know when to actually replace them. Really cool. Um, are they better than the, the Posca ones? I mean, you can't really compare because these are skin tones, but the Posca pens seem to be, uh, like, as far as coverage and everything, the Posca pens are, I mean, they're just amazing. But for skin tones, this is a, looks like a pretty cool product, and uh, I recommend it which is the Fly C Skin Tone Acrylic Painter and uh, thank you for watching.